know some songs or what? Cause she won't let me play any of Cause she won't let me play my best I got uh, What kind of college are you looking for? Like a Christian college and university What would you like to major in? Like, maybe I want to be like a doctor or something, lawyer or something like that. Why would, why, why would you choose to be that major? Because, like, I, I like to help other people when they're in bad situations. Is that your first reason to be a lawyer or a doctor? What other reasons would you like to become? The, the money come in, it's good money in that. And, it, and it's, it, it's, it's better than uh, being on the streets and selling drugs. What, what would... Uh, like, uh, like I want to at least have a, like a, a football team or a basketball team we can keep me occupied and you know keep me up. Uh, would you like to sleep on campus like a, a dorm or would you like to be relatively close to home? I, w I would want to be close to home but, but then at the same time I want to sleep at the dorm. Uh, how would you imagine college life for you? Uh, college life I, w I, w I want it to be fun, but I don't want to get in no trouble, so. After college, what, how do you see yourself financially? Uh, uh, money, like a lot of money. I want a lot of money, a, a big house, an average house. Are you going to be going into the workforce after you go after, right after you go to college? Uh, I haven't thought about that yet, but maybe. for three years and ROTC for three years and it's, it's been a big part of my life. So like what, which one are you going to do? Like the Navy or oh, the Yeah, I'm, uh, I plan on joining the Army. Why? Uh, I, have, I come from a family that, that goes to the Army and uh, I plan on joining it too because they inspire me to join the Army. I think so, but the main thing is you have to be fit, you know, be able to work out, and you have to have a high school diploma, of course, but it's not hard, it's easy. Probably our most common programs are our nursing, business, kinesiology, and our agriculture programs. We have about 10,000 students on campus, so it's a relatively small university. Uh, we have a 19 to 1 student to faculty ratio, which means that our class sizes are really small. You get a lot of one-on-one um, -on -one time with your professor. They get to know you, you get to know them, so they're able to help you in the future. Um, we really focus on hands-on experiences, so we offer internships and study abroad opportunities. And we really focus on a family-like atmosphere, and we're a real tradition-based school, so it's one big family. We are strictly healthcare. We're the College of Healthcare Professions. We specialize in the healthcare industry. We have everything from medical assistant, dental assistant, all the way to bridge programs where they can actually achieve associates and bachelor's degrees as well. Um, what is the campus like? We are uh, located off of 35 in Meacham in Fort Worth. <clears throat> We're a small campus. It's, uh, there's no like uh, dorms or anything like that. It's just a college. We're more of a technical school. Um, but whenever it comes to the campus, one building, very close-knit, hands-on when it comes to the labs, lectures, everything. Like, do y'all have questions? Yes, absolutely. The students will actually be in a classroom setting of anywhere from 20 to 25 students. They'll have a lab and then lecture every single day. So where they're not only learning the practical and theory of the program, but also the hands-on aspect of it as well. So we have over 114 programs. Um, we have uh, anything that can major, anything from bachelor's to master's to doctorates. We're known for as an education school, so you will not have um, gone through 
your elementary, your secondary, or high school without having to teach it from A&M Commerce. So for 15 credit hours, which is about five classes, which is the average you take to graduate in four years, it's about anywhere from 35 to 3,700 in tuition. So over 80% of our students are on financial aid. We have merit scholarships, we have general scholarships that they apply for through a separate process. Um, if they want to do honors college, that's usually looking like ten, top 10% and over a certain score for SAT and ACT, there's always uh, help um, that we can give for those students. Campus Live? It is. We have over 13,000 students. Um, it, it is in a small town, but we are focused on the students succeeding. Uh, we always have events going on every day. There's always something to do for everybody. So our class ratio is about 20 to 1 right now, um, give or take. And then once you start going into your major courses, it's a, it, it goes down to about 10 to 15 to 1. So it's very small classes. Yes, yeah, we're a Division II school, so we have over 10 uh, varsity sports, including football, volleyball, uh, men's and women's basketball, track and field. We have uh, where students can get involved in intramurals, which is kind of a university league within themselves. They can play anything like flag football. We have over 100 student organizations that they can participate in. Yes, we do. And we also have a program called Work Study, so if they qualify, um, they can be working on campus and it also goes towards their tuition. Well, yeah, so based on the merit, the merit scholarships, like I mentioned earlier, um, they have to get over a certain amount. <clears throat> uh, we have what's called the blue and gold scholarship, the prize scholarship. We have all those scholarships available for students and how they, they do on their scores. So we, we want to ask what, what you're interested in, and we, we try to accommodate and we try to show you what you can do on campus. So uh, we come to fairs like these um, and meet them one-on-one -on -one with students, and we, and we stay in contact with them the whole time throughout their whole process. We want them to make sure they succeed. I want to major in doctor, in a, in a doctor degree. Why? Because I like I would like to help people. <laughs> like when they're sick, I want to help be able to help the sick and the, the needy because that's how, that's the way that my mom would raise me to help out, and that's what I want to do is help them. What college do you believe is the best college here to get up and become a doctor? I'm not. Sure. I haven't been looking very really much. Good job. Uh, what are your necessities for a college to have? My necessities would probably like be good grades. Um, I'll put in the time and the effort to to actually how do you I don't know how to say it, like make make take time out of your day to do what you need to do to become what you want to become. Would you like to have like a sport or a club that would be on campus? Yes, I, I want to be in soccer or volleyball. Uh, it's basically, we're recruiting people to be in JROTC, telling them how it's a good program and making your life better, teaching you how to be a better citizen. Um, it's just all about teaching you leadership skills, respect, and just to be better in the community. How would one enroll in JROTC? I would want to enroll um, either at the beginning of school year, you could get it on your schedule, or either or even here you can sign your name there. Okay. Um, Do you guys enjoy JROTC? Very much. It's a fun time in be. It's, it's very exciting. What activities do you guys get to do? In JROTC, you know, we have different teams. We have a, a color guard team, a drill team, armed and unarmed. A uh, physical fitness team, a Raiders team, it's a lot of fun stuff. And apart from that, we take a different field trips to food banks and other places. 
to other schools to help the community. We also have academic teams, you know, JLab, which is uh, military history and uh, academic, um, what else? Yeah, academic team and British. Now you got that. How do you guys help out the community around Poly? Around Poly, uh, we help out the community, you know, we have a trash bags, we go pick up trash around the community and uh, just last year we went to the food bank to help pass out um, foods for the needing. So we did that and we helped out. How strict is Jero to see? How demanding is it? Uh, it's just about teaching discipline. Yeah, it's not it's not it really is. strict. It's, it's not just really to teach you discipline. So there's nothing me. that Jero to wants from you, like very like time like time from your day uh, any other activities? There's really not just you no know, it's not not the strength, you know, we teach you discipline and you know how to be a better person, how to carry yourself. Well let's say if someone were to not go on the rules of Jared to see what would the, the teacher or the instructor do? How would they discipline? Um, well, it depends on what it is. The instructor would call them to the back, you know, talk to them, figure out what was wrong, if there was a problem at home maybe, you know, try to see what was wrong, then, you know, take it from there. All right. So we have quite a, a few degrees. We offer over 100 undergraduate degrees for incoming freshmen. The most popular one is going to be within our Mays Business School, majors within the College of Engineering, and then majors within the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences as well. What is the tuition of your college? Tuition's around $9,500 a year, so that's for both the fall and spring semester. Uh, the great thing with our tuition is that we lock it in for all four years. So even if it increases sophomore, junior year, a lot of public colleges are going to charge that rate. But us at Texas A&M, we lock in that rate your incoming freshman year for all four years here at the university. How do you help students with financial aid? So we ask them to fill out a scholarship application uh, their senior year, and then we also ask them to fill out the free application for federal student aid. Now, if they're an undocumented student, but they've attended a public school within the state of Texas for three years, then they can fill out the TASFA, and they can qualify for in-state tuition at our university. So there are resources for everyone from A to Z. It's just a matter of being aware of those resources that we can offer you. Uh, what do students look for to get into their college? Um, well, for us, what we really look at is going to be class rank at the end of their junior year. So students that are in the top 10%, are automatically admitted. Students that are in the top 25%, we then require a minimum ACT or SAT score. If they don't have either of those requirements, that's okay. Don't fall under holistic review, or we look at everything from A to Z on the application. What is campus like? It's awesome. I mean, it's, it's very unique compared to all the other colleges out there. We have around 50,000 students on campus, which is a big number, I'm not gonna lie. But when you come down to visit, you'll understand that you're never surrounded by 50,000. You don't feel that. It's a very spread out campus, uh, and they care about each other. So it's, you really get that sense of community at our university. And with over 1,000 student organizations, you can really find what area that a student wants to fall into. Do you have different clubs or sports that students can join? Yeah, absolutely. So we have over 1,000 over different student activities that a student can join. Now, if they find something that they really want to start, but we don't offer that club, $40 and four people that join, they can start their own club at our university. And then we also offer intramural sports for students and then club sports for students that really want that competitive, competitive aspect, but not necessarily a rigorous aspect like at a Division I school. How big are classes? I'm sorry? How, how big is each class? It just really ranges. The biggest class you're ever going to deal with is 300 students, and then it really goes down from there, which it is a large number, but at a public college, I've seen some that are big as eight, 900 students. With our university, we offer free, uh, free tutoring for all of our undergraduate courses, so that way you're not just a number at our university. We're really going to help you passing those courses, even if you do feel like you're one out of 300. And plus, with our professors, they offer office hours at least two times a week throughout the entire week. Yeah, absolutely. So with that, you just fill out a scholarship application your senior year, and you're considered for all of our scholarships at our university. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you guys go about? How do you guys go about recruiting students? 
Well, we have a prospective student center located in South Arlington, and that houses all of our advisors in charge of the entire DFW area. My main territory is the North DFW area, but uh, you can definitely contact our office down in South Arlington, and we house application workshops, financial aid workshops, and we also host free trips down from uh, Dallas-Fort Worth down to College Station for free. So just being signed up on aggiebound.com, you can be aware of those opportunities. Right in next finger. 